What is up, fellow YouTubers? So, there's been another shooting in our country. This was at a Kroger grocery store over in Louisville, Kentucky. And the man who did it is a disgusting, racist piece of shit. He tried to gain access to a black church and failed to do so. So he busted into Kroger's and he killed two black men. Like, what the fuck is wrong with our country? No, no, I, I've, for real, YouTube, I've fucking had it with the shit in our society. I have just fucking had it, dude. I'm so fucking over it, man. I'm just, oh, dude. Here we go again. What gun did he use? Or was it the evil AR-15? Doesn't fucking matter what gun he used. Because I'm tired of people blaming guns for people's actions, you know? Like, not to be disrespectful to the victims of the most recent shooting, but why is it that when people... Why is it when people kill people while texting and driving with their stupid cell phones, no one says, oh, it's that evil cell phone's fault. You don't hear people making this humongous argument about why we need to ban cell phones. Nah, but every time there's a mass shooting in our country, man, people don't just blame the person and then leave it at that. They, they got to blame guns because guns are evil. Hmm. <sighs> like, I've had it, YouTube. I I've fucking had it with mass shootings, dude. I'm tired of guns getting a bad name, and I'm more tired of innocent lives being taken. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of it. And this doesn't do anything good for the so-called race war in our country. You know, this just makes a lot of people go, well, this is why you can't trust Whitey. Mm -hmm. Fuck off. I mean, if guns are the problem, then why doesn't my gun sitting right there just get up and shoot me? Because it's empty and because it's an inanimate object? I'm fucking fed up with it, dude. I'm just fed up with a lot of shit lately. I'm getting bullied and harassed on social media every fucking day. And quite frankly, I don't give a shit. Because I'm not the only person that gets bullied on social media, for one. And two, there are bigger problems. Bigger problems. I fucking had it, man. I'm at my fucking wit's end with these assholes. What drives a person to want to shoot up a place? I don't fucking know, dude. It's pathetic. You're a spineless chicken shit. Is what you are. You're a racist, spineless chicken shit. My question to you is, what did black people ever do to you? Nothing other than try to exist and live their life just like the rest of us. I fucking hate racism, man. I fucking hate it, dude. 
Racism and sexism. Can't fucking stand it, dude. Oh, it makes my skin crawl. And we were doing so good. We were doing so good. We, we haven't had a mass shooting in months. And then out of the fucking blue. Oh, here's this one at Kroger's. Clean up on aisle four. Fuck you. Try that shit in Wyoming. See what happens. Everyone pull out their gun and shoot you first. And, you know, I hate to say this, but do you know why mass shootings don't really happen in Wyoming? Because Wyoming is a gun-friendly state. Everyone's armed with at least one pistol or one shotgun, you know? And I'm not saying this to be disrespectful to the victims. I'm just saying, because here we go again, right? Who do we blame? The guns? The mass media? Or do we blame the parents? Oh, my God. Here's a thought. And this is just a crazy thought, but hear me out. Why don't we blame the cunt who did it instead of pinning blame on everything else? It's the devil's fault. Oh, no, it's the blah, 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 blah. Oh, my God. Like, I've fucking had it with this shit. Like, I'm shaking right now. I am that pissed. I am fucking livid right now, dude. Well, how do we know you're... Okay, hear me out. How do we know it's empty? Well, I open it halfway without engaging the hammers, and you can see it's empty without engaging the triggers. These things are not the problem. People are the problem. Notice that it took a human hand to move it. Now if I sit the gun down, right there. Holy shit, it's not moving! Of course, I better be careful. YouTube might flag this as an act of terrorism. Fuck you! Okay, it's gotten so bad that people on Facebook cannot post pictures of their hunting trip without being called a fucking terrorist. Oh, here's Joe Schmo with his gun and his dog and the deer he just killed. Like, hey, look what I got. And he gets sent to Facebook jail for 30 plus days because that's an act of violence. Screw you. I don't give a shit how pissed off you are. Nothing justifies mass shootings. Not one goddamn thing. Oh, you're pissed off at some shit. Well, jack off and get over it then. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, yeah, I get pissed off about a couple of things, but by the end of the fucking day, I'm like, you know, tomorrow's a new day. It could be worse, right? Tomorrow's a new day. <laughs> Tomorrow's a new fucking day. I keep my gun empty unless I have to use it. That's gun safety 101. You get these motherfuckers who are like, No, no, you gotta have one in the chamber, just in case. <sighs> That's how accidents happen, you stupid motherfucker.
you know, I'm going to go put my 12 gauge back up. I'll be right back. Come get you some, motherfucker. Now, some people would be like, well... Josh, you don't even hunt. Why do you have that gun? Self-defense, motherfucker. Someone break into my apartment. I'm like, oh, hell no. Wrong apartment, motherfucker. But this is the problem with it, man. Like, immediately, if you support guns after all these mass shootings... People look at you like you're the plague of the planet. Like, oh, how dare you support guns? Do you know how many mass shootings we've had? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like, fuck the mass shootings, dude. Guns aren't the problem. People are the fucking problem. Oh, I know a lot of liberals and anti-gunnies. A lot of liberals, Democrats, and people who hate guns. Oh, they hate that expression. The whole guns don't kill people, people kill people argument. Oh, they fucking hate that argument. Yes, they do. They hate it because they know people like me are right. Because let's examine this for one second. People are the ones that invented guns. People are the ones that discovered gunpowder. People are the ones that are constantly... People are constantly coming up with ways to kill each other. But that's somehow the device's fault? Like, fuck, dude, I'm so sick of it. This video is going to be called Fuck Mass Shootings. It might get demonetized. I'm not even going to monetize it because I don't care at this point. I'm so fucking livid with this shit. I don't care what they did to you. I really don't. That doesn't justify taking an innocent life. I mean, as an example, I get bullied on social media all the fucking time, every goddamn day. It's nonstop. But at the end of the fucking day, I'm like, you know what? Fuck those assholes. I know who I am, and I'm me, and nothing's going to change that. I don't care, dude. Nothing these haters do to me justifies taking their life. I'm not worried about it because, you know what? Karma will bite them in the ass one day, and they will learn they shouldn't have fucked with me. I'm not going to have to do a goddamn thing. Karma will work itself out. I don't care, dude. You know, I have a YouTube channel. I have a voice. I'm going to use it. Now you can disagree with me all you want to, that's fine, you have your opinion. But my opinion is guns aren't the problem, racism, sexism, and people are the problem. Society puts way too much pressure on people to have sex and relationships. Huh, don't believe me? <coughs> Elliot Rogers, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. I'm just saying, this little prick is in a sports car whining because he can't get laid. And I'm like, dude, if you are driving around in sports cars and you can't get pussy, that is your fault, not theirs. Like... 
Like, straight up, dude. Uh, I'm at my fucking wit's end with humanity right now, dude. I really am. Like, I'm so sick of it, dude. Why does life have to piss on everybody? You know, why can't life just be easy for everyone? You know? I mean... I'm sick of it, YouTube. I'm fucking sick of it. I, you know, to be honest, I'd rather take my life than someone else's life. And the only thing that stops me from doing that is knowing how many people care about me. Knowing I would miss the things that I enjoy doing in life. Smoking tobacco and making a video, playing guitar, hanging out with friends, you know? You know, the reason why I don't let the hate comments, the reason why I don't let the hate comments upset me too much, you know, all the bullying and harassment and hate that I get on social media on a daily basis, the reason why I don't let it get to me it's because there are people out there who have bigger problems. There are people out there who go through so much worse. Imagine the families of those victims right now, grieving because their loved one was killed by a racist white asshole. I can't even begin to imagine, dude. Like, I cannot begin to physically comprehend or understand how that would feel. To have someone I got, to have someone I got in my family or one of my friends, having one of my family or one of my friends killed because of the color of their skin, I can't begin to imagine, dude. It's fucking horrible. It's fucking just the worst, dude. There's a special place in hell for assholes like that. Oh, yeah. Racist pieces of shit like that. Oh, yeah. There's a special place in hell for people like that.
I need a stiff drink, YouTube. <sighs> I need a stiff drink. Drinking doesn't make the pain go away. It helps you deal with it. It's much like putting an ice pack on a mild burn. It's not going to make the burn go away, but it helps with the time when you get it. But this is, this is the kind of situation you can't just put an ice pack on it and hope it goes away. You know, mass shootings aren't something you can just put an ice pack on and hope it goes away. Have some fucking compassion, you ass wipes. Ask yourself, how would it feel if someone I loved or someone I knew was killed in a mass shooting? All because some asshole was pissed off at the world. You'd be sitting there going, well, I feel like shit. I'd be feeling all kinds of sad. Well, there you go. When it comes to suicide or mass shootings, ask yourself that one question. How would it feel if somebody I knew went through it? You'd feel like shit. You'd feel depressed. You'd hate the world. You'd ask why. Based off of that answer alone, that's why you shouldn't fucking do it. Because it's wrong. Killing people is wrong. Plain and simple. And I watched a news video about it on YouTube. And of course, all the assholes in the comment section making stupid jokes like, Oh, I guess now we have to ban grocery stores. And I'm sitting there like, Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sitting there reading the comments on this video like, oh my fucking god. These people are the worst. I'm at my fucking wit's end with this shit, YouTube. I am beyond disgusted right now, man. Seriously, fuck mass shootings.